Jupiter, the fifth planet from the sun, and the largest in the solar system. Made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, Jupiter stretches more than 85,000 miles across. It's unfathomably big. You know, you can fit a thousand Earths inside. Jupiter is a beast of a planet. It's 317 times the mass of the Earth. It has individual storms on it that could contain the entire Earth. Now, scientists have launched a mission to study Jupiter in more detail than ever before. Juno is orbiting this oversized world, snapping close-up images and collecting data. Scientists are uncovering the secrets of an extraordinarily complex and unique world. Jupiter has 67 known moons and probably a giant number of ones that are not yet known. It's like a miniature solar system all of its own. It's a whole environment, a whole ecosystem. It has enormous magnetic fields. It has intense radiation. No matter which way you cut it, Jupiter stands in a class on its own. The conditions on and around Jupiter are extreme. It doesn't behave like an ordinary planet. Formed at the beginning of the solar system, from the same stuff as the sun, Jupiter is an enigma. Is it hiding a secret history? Could Jupiter be a star in disguise? Spread across 50 square miles of baking sand, in the scorching Mojave Desert. These giant telescopes listen for radio signals in outer space. NASA's Steve Levin is on the front line unlocking the secrets of Jupiter. So we've known about Jupiter for thousands of years, and we've studied it with telescopes for hundreds of years. In fact, Jupiter was one of the very first objects in the sky that was studied with telescopes. But when we started using radio telescopes, we learned a lot of surprises about Jupiter. These telescopes observe space by looking at radio waves rather than visible light. And the radio waves that come from Jupiter aren't what scientists expect to see from a planet. One of the surprises was this enormous bright radio source that turned out to be Jupiter. Jupiter gives off a huge radio signal far too bright for its size. Scientists think these signals are created by small charged particles interacting with a magnetic field. Most planets have a magnetic field, but Jupiter's is far larger than any other. Jupiter's is the brightest radio signal in its part of the sky. It's the largest magnetic field of any planet in our solar system by far. So what is causing Jupiter's huge magnetic field? Scientists believe the answer might lie with an alien chemistry deep within the planet. More than 300 million miles from Earth, Jupiter is an unimaginably different world. It's a planet that astronomers call a gas giant. It's made almost entirely from hydrogen, the same material that forms stars like the sun, but beneath its cloudy surface, a darkness looms. Scientists believe a thick black liquid swirls below where intense pressures and temperatures transform hydrogen into a strange new substance. The secret of Jupiter's giant magnetic field may lie within this abyss. Scientists in Edinburgh are conducting a remarkable experiment to find out. So we call Jupiter a gas giant, but beneath the clouds of Jupiter, the planet's not really made of gas. It's made of something much, much stranger. Stuart McWilliams is investigating the mystery of what lies below Jupiter's clouds. Scientists know that Jupiter is 90% hydrogen. Let's go. Things work fast when they work here. This equipment can recreate some of the incredibly high pressures found inside Jupiter. 
to find out what happens to a gas under the extreme conditions deep inside the planet. In the bottom of the ocean, the pressure from all the water that's on top of you is about a thousand times Earth's atmospheric pressure. And in the center of the Earth, it's about a million times. But in the center of Jupiter, it's almost a billion times the pressure in Earth's atmosphere. Stewart is going to expose a gas more commonly found on Earth to the pressures found deep within Jupiter. He uses oxygen because it's easier to control in the lab, yet reacts to pressure in the same way as hydrogen. Oxygen is very similar to hydrogen, and so they have similar properties when you put them under pressure inside a planet. At low pressures, light can easily pass through the sample. If I put my hand behind the sample, the light goes away. So we're seeing light now coming through oxygen, and we're able to see right through it. And of course, oxygen, like hydrogen, when you squeeze on it, 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 it starts to change. Stewart begins to squeeze the gas. Under extreme pressures, the structure of oxygen transforms. 62, 63. There it goes. Oxygen is now just turned solid, and crystals are starting to form in the system. The oxygen becomes opaque. It's beginning to change its structure. We're starting to see the oxygen's beginning to turn a little bit darker, and a little more orange, and there it goes. We've turned now our oxygen sample into a totally black substance here. This, we were trying to shine light through it, and it's being totally absorbed inside the oxygen. This black substance is created simply by putting an ordinary gas under extreme pressure. Stewart believes his experiments prove that the pressure within Jupiter transforms hydrogen gas into a new, different state. But this isn't enough to explain Jupiter's enormous magnetic field. An even stranger force must be at work. Deeper inside the planet, the conditions intensify. Beneath the dark hydrogen, scientists think there's an even more bizarre layer, an ocean of liquid metallic hydrogen, an exotic state of hydrogen that doesn't exist on Earth. 12,000 miles deep, this metallic ocean transforms the planet into an enormous dynamo. As it spins, it creates a magnetic field that extends nearly four million miles around Jupiter, the biggest planetary structure in the solar system. Scientists now believe metallic hydrogen powers Jupiter's magnetic field. But in the lab, it's proving difficult to make. People everywhere are racing to create metallic hydrogen. And over the years, we think we've seen metallic hydrogen fleetingly in the laboratory. But we can't reproduce these claims. Jupiter seems able to create new forms of hydrogen, but it defies human attempts to recreate it in the lab. The only possible explanation for that magnetic field is the existence of a metallic state of hydrogen deep within Jupiter. And so it's really experiments are trying to catch up to nature. The pressure inside Jupiter is unrivaled by the other planets in our solar system. Only the sun creates a greater force. Jupiter is so big, so massive, that we know as you descend into the interior of Jupiter, you will reach pressures where an element like hydrogen doesn't just liquefy, it actually begins to behave like a metal. Now, the reason the metal is shiny is that metal atoms actually share electrons. And with the hydrogen compressed so close together, the same thing happens, and you get metallic hydrogen. And this metallic hydrogen is something that is very difficult to make. But because Jupiter is so powerful, it's so cool, and it has such awesome gravity, it can create metallic hydrogen. Jupiter's magnetic field reaches out deep into space. When tiny charged particles come into contact with it, they produce radio waves that telescopes can detect on Earth. Scientists observing Jupiter in ultraviolet light can see an extraordinary phenomena caused by the magnetic field. Huge auroras, 
the brightest and biggest in the solar system. The auroras here on Earth, our northern and southern lights, are caused by the interaction of our magnetic field with particles from the sun. Well, Jupiter's magnetic field is so extreme, it actually generates auroras all by itself.